yeah. Tried to ball Floyd Mayweather in the world. past, tried to suffocate him. I've H. seen that stuff, those H. tactics utilized Tough. against him, but I've never seen it affect Tough. him Tough. the way he seemed affected Saturday Tough. night. Tough. And he was affected from opening Big money tap, popping, boy. from the opening bell. And it was because Ryan he did not come look at his demeanor. Look at how he walked into the ring. Look at his facial name. expression. Look at his body Head language. You chest. know I know Floyd. Skip, I've been watching the kids. He wasn't himself. He wasn't Hard himself. All the time. And, and he almost, he almost lost all the time. because of it. Because the fight to me my was a hell of a lot closer the than the score. Indicated. Tell my niggas. What's up, world? Yeah, this your boy Lil Ty. Another episode right. of Lil Ty Speaks. And I'm here to talk to y'all about the Floyd Mayweather versus Marcos Maidana fight. Um, my take on the fight, I can't agree with Stephen A. Smith. The fight was a lot closer. I actually had Floyd down from rounds one through six. Um, he was taking a lot of shots. He was taking Madonna best shots. And Madonna was landing. He threw a lot of punches, but he landed a lot also. Um, I think Floyd wasn't completely focused. Obviously, he wasn't because he was going through the stuff with his girl. Um, but he fought like a champion and he came back and won. I think he started stepping up somewhere between the end of the sixth round and the seventh round on up. He started stepping up and really picking the shots. But um, y'all can go and watch the fight because I, I reviewed it a few more times. It was a lot of dirty fighting going on from McDonough. He tried to rush Floyd out the ring at one point. He tried to kneel him at one point. Um, he definitely headbutted him. He known for that. He just known for, you know, dirty tactics. But he did fight an incredible fight, too. But you never know. Floyd could have been talking to him. Floyd could have been doing some things to him to provoke him to do things like that. So you just can't, you know, look at the one side of things in the fight. Now, you know, Floyd got out there. He took some... He, he gave Madonna some, some good shots, too. But Madonna was really beating his ass the majority of the fight. And it didn't look like he started tiring out, I think, after the sixth round, the seventh round. But he still was going at Floyd. He came to fight. He came to try his best to win. He came out there to fight. And I mean, it was a it was, it was a good ass fight. That was probably one of the best fights with a lot of action that I've seen for a minute. Because he, you know, he mentioned it in the post um in the post conference. Uh, the post fight interview. He said that, you know, he wanted to, he said a lot of his fights people think that they were boring because he like, you know, he fighting his old style, but I don't think that's the case because he had you he cut the ring off and he definitely had you in the corner, you know, fighting for your life. You know, from what I was saying. You took some Floyd definitely took some of his best shot. But um and they also was talking about a rematch. Personally, I don't think Floyd will give him a rematch. I think that Floyd definitely felt some power that he's definitely not used to. And Madonna is known to hit very hard. Um, that could have something to do with him ducking Pacquiao all these years and why they don't fight. I don't know. I'm not in the inside of the boxing. Or I don't know what goes on behind the closed doors. But Muhammad Ali... He tweeted that he wanted to see those two fights. Y'all can also check those out. Uh, he sent them on tweet saying he wanted to see Madonna and, not Madonna, excuse me, Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao, you know, fight. But I don't think that that fight's going to happen. Maybe um, mostly because I think, in my opinion, that it, it, it has grown stale. Um, and a lot of people said, you know, a lot of people from the comments say that Floyd Mayweather was definitely seeing signs of his age at 37. That's probably why he didn't perform, you know, and that had something to do with his performance Saturday night, um, along with his girl's issues and stuff like that. But, you know, y'all can give me y'all take on it, man. Y'all can leave comments. Y'all can also go and check the fight out. It's all over YouTube. A lot of people recorded the fight. Um, Oh, and let me not leave this out. Okay, Lil Wayne also got in an altercation with Madonna, and I guess he was trying to fight, or he called himself trying to fight Madonna or his entourage last night. 
Not last night, Saturday night. Um, right after the fight. Now, either you gotta be incredibly brave, or you gotta be very stupid. I don't think that has anything to do with being tough. I don't think that has nothing to do with somebody trying to punk you. But if you're trying to fight a professional fighter and the champ, the best in the world just took some of this guy finest shots and he known to hit hard and he almost beat Mayweather. What the fuck do you think he was going to do to you if this dude just land a simple hard straight? I mean, we ain't even talking about the... The, the hooks and the uppercuts and stuff like that. But this dude can just hit you with a hard straight and he can end your fucking career, man. You know, stick to rapping. I mean, I don't know what the fuck was going on. You know, I they said he hit Wayne with a bottle or, or somebody in his entourage hit him with a bottle. But please, bro, like, what the fuck going on? You know, a lot of people want to see the car to five. A lot of people want to see you keep performing. You know, but that is not the way to go out and end your career. Because this dude will simply hurt you about that. This dude will fucking kill you. He can hit you with one death punch, dude, and that'll be the end of everything. You trying to run up to a professional fighter. A boxer. These motherfuckers trying for this shit. And it's not like two random motherfuckers in the street fighting. You know, you fighting a fighter is not like that. When them motherfuckers hit you, you gonna feel all of that shit. Even if you block it, this nigga, you definitely gonna feel that fucking power. Because it's gonna give you a rush straight through your fucking body. This dude would knock you the fuck out without even trying. God damn, he done already knocked Brona motherfucking ass down in they last fight before he fought Mayweather. And then he gave Mayweather hell about this. So I mean, what the fuck is going on in life and think that this motherfucker wanna run up to a professional fighter? It's not gonna work. That right there ain't gonna happen, bro. If you think you was gonna knock him out, shit, fuck that. And whoever pulled him back when his home was, or whoever pulled him back, man, they did the right thing because that what right there, shit, fuck that shit. That right there was gonna, that dude would kill you, plain and simple. And that's pretty much all I got to say about that. But y'all can leave comments. Y'all feel free to leave comments. Hit the like button. Make sure y'all follow. Uh, y'all can check the videos out on my Facebook page, Tashawn MacRight. Make sure y'all subscribe to my page. To Sean and Lil Ty on YouTube. So y'all be easy about that, man. And I keep y'all updated on what's going on in the world today. Y'all be easy. Peace. Come from the slums with it.